Well, the San Antonio Zoo recently became home to a pair of hyenas. And Rachel Malstaff, of course, director of mammals, joins me with a few fun facts about their newest residents. But first, hey, you know, it's lunchtime, right? So we've got Christina in there with a bucket of meat. <laughs> it's time for them to eat. They enjoy their lunch. So she's, she's putting some food out in the enclosure so we can get them to walk around. You guys can check them out in just a few minutes. Okay, so Christina's putting that down now, and then she's going to she, get out she of the way. She will go inside and uh -huh. she will lock everything up, make sure everything's secure before she lets the hyena out. Okay, and we've got some pumpkins out there too. Oh yeah, a little bit of Halloween enrichment for them as well. <laughs> so um, most animals like to play with pumpkins and carry them around, and sometimes we'll put food in them and all there sorts of fun Christina. things. There goes Christina. All right. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit for them to kind of follow that scent and come on out. It but was, it'll take a minute to lock yeah. up. Yeah, lock up everything and so let them know. So when people look at hyenas, they think, oh, okay, they kind of look like dogs, right? But no. <laughs> no, actually, they are uh, members. Of, yeah, they're not members of the canid family, which most people think. They're actually actually more closely related to cats. Um, they're actually their their own family, um, the canidae family or the hyenidae family. Um, like I said, they're more related to cats, actually most closely related to mongoose, civets, um, kind of different animals that you wouldn't think would be related to hyena. So. Okay, and they're, of course, a critical part of Africa's ecosystems, right? They are. No, they're a very important part. I mean, the, you don't often think about it. They actually do more... Um, they're bigger hunters even than lions. I mean, they do more of their own hunting themselves. And so they really monitor like the um, other animals in the ecosystem. And then like they form, they have their groups together. And so they, they do a, pay, play an integral part of the uh, ecosystem in Africa. Okay, so hunting. yeah, because they're kind of like the trash compactors, right? A exactly, okay. I mean, they yeah, they're powerful jaws. I mean, they'll just eat everything. And they catch a prey item. I mean, they can tear apart bone. They'll pretty much eat the entirety of the animal. And when you hear them, what we think is, you know, laughing at everyone's jokes, okay, it's not really, <laughs> of course, laughter, right? Oh, yeah, no, they've got several vocalizations. So they do kind of make almost kind of a laughing noise. Um, oh, there she is. Okay. Um, make more of a laughing noise, but sometimes that can be a little bit fearful, anxiety, but they actually have 11 plus vocalizations. So they actually do like a whooping call. That's when they start getting excited and playful. Um, so they make a lot of different vocalizations and the vultures are <laughs> curious to see what's going on too. Oh, vultures and, and yeah. hyenas. What a treat. <laughs> okay, and he's checking out the pumpkin, right? She, yeah, she is. So yeah, we're not sure that she's ever had pumpkins before. And so um, she's maybe not quite sure what those things are. So. Um, so we want to give her a couple of things to play they with. They got here recently, right? Uh, yeah, they've only been here for a couple of weeks, um, so they're still getting used to the new environment. And we're also getting used to them and kind of get to know what they like and what they like to play with and getting to know them. Now, out of well. the males and females, who's who's in charge? Oh, the females are well, in charge. that makes sense. <laughs> or nothing would get the done, The females right? rule, rule the roof. So they have their groups, you know, they have groups of maybe eight to 50 hyena together, um, and the females are in charge. I mean, they're actually even a little bit bigger in size than the males, but okay. they're, they're completely dominant over the males. And powerful jaws, right? And they'll even steal stuff from lions, right? Oh, yeah. No, they actually do more hunting. Like, more often, um, the lions will steal from hyenas than the hyenas will steal from lions, which people don't usually think of. Usually people think of hyenas more as scavengers and mm -hmm. the ones that will steal other animals' foods, but it's the opposite, actually the opposite. So. All right, so you have the fun facts. I've got a quick hyena joke, okay, real <laughs> quick. And if you like it, then it's my joke. If not, this is one of Mike's dad's jokes. So, Mike, are you listening? Okay, what did the hyena say about the lion? We can have whatever's lying around. <laughs> <laughs> and what's a hyena's favorite cookie? A snickerdoodle. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, tell folks where they can find these guys here at the zoo. So the hyenas are actually towards the front of the zoo next to the lemur exhibit. So once you guys come through the entrance area, you'll see them on your left hand side next to the giant spiders currently. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com.